Well, guys, we're still waiting on our tires to come in the mail. They should be here in a couple days. I'm hoping before this weekend we can get a video out and get them on. So today we're just going to uh, put some LED headlights in our machine. We're going to do an upgraded headlight from the ones that I put in uh, my wife's machine. Now, I'm only going to put links to the ones that I put in her machine because they're the easiest to install. The ones that I'm doing in my machine require some modifications and I just don't want that headache. So, for the sake of me, I will list the ones that I put in her machine and then in a noted list, I will list the ones that I put in my machine. So, you can buy whatever ones you want. Just take note that it requires some finicking and some bending and some other things to go along with those headlights to get them in there and well they they work but <clears throat> you know sometimes you got to modify a little stuff but that's redneck garage that is what we do on this channel and i also wanted to mention the main reason i started this channel was so i could share my uh, garage experiences and life experiences with a community who actually cares and gives a crap about other other people's lives and uh, the reason I do this is number one so I can help people get some information out there because there's not a whole lot of people these days um, that really share the knowledge that they know most of the people, they just want to use it to their advantage and make money with. And me, I'd rather make YouTube revenue and be happy with it. So, grow my channel. Um, people like sharing, subscribing. That definitely helps. And the little bit of content that we do create and generate revenue with, it helps me keep the videos coming and going. And... Uh, you never know what I'm going to do out here. We do a little bit of everything. We don't just focus on one little thing. I mean, I know I do a lot on the side-by-sides, but, you know, the whole reason I got these side-by-sides is because I didn't believe that they would be reliable and all of that. So I got these side-by-sides, and I started the channel so I can prove the reliability. Everybody keeps asking me if I'm going to get the Z-Force 950 Sport, and the answer to that is no. And I'm going to tell you why. You may like or you may not like my reason why. I have multiple reasons why. One, I don't care for the looks. It's not my style. It's a good machine. It's built great. But it just doesn't fit me. That's not what I like. Number two. I am in it for the long haul. I want to see how many miles we get on these machines before they require any kind of major work. Now, so far they're doing awesome and I have zero complaints. I know every single machine out there has problems along the way of its lifespan. I understand things in engines go bad, transmissions go bad, diffs go bad, ball joints go bad, stuff like that. We're not worried about normal maintenance. We're worried about long-term reliability. And this is why I stick with these machines. Now, there will become a time where it's time to upgrade. But I have this little thing. It's a kind of a promise that I made to myself. I want to put 100,000 miles on the clock of this machine. That is what I want to do. That is my goal. That is what I told my wife. Now, if there becomes a time where we end up upgrading, I can tell you right now, it's not going to be a Z950 Sport because I don't like the looks. Now, if CF Moto would come out with something that looks ha better but to me looks better would go with it but if not the krx is on my list to get now within the next five years that's when i plan on getting a krx or something along the lines but i made a promise to myself i will not sell it i will not off it i will not trade it in i want to keep it i want to keep driving it 
on the roads and the trails. I want to put 100,000 miles on the clock. I want to see the reliability. I want to see how much money it's going to take me to get there. I want to see it all. Now, I have seen CF motos with 30 and 40,000 miles on them. I have yet to see one upwards to 100K miles. And that is my goal, and that is what I shall do. I am here to prove if they are reliable or if they are junk. Now, I realize somewhere along the way, maybe once, twice, or three times, it's going to need an engine rebuild. I totally understand that, but I'm very well hoping that it won't need an engine rebuild between now and 10,000 miles or so. So, which I don't, we will see. We will see. That is the goals, and we are set to do that. So, I'm not, I'm not the average YouTuber that's going to hop from one machine to the next. We are in it for the long haul, and I sure hope that you guys are backing me up. Hopefully, you guys enjoy my content, and hopefully, you guys like what I bring you. Not always is it CF Moto related. One day it could have something to do with that Kawasaki. Heck, I had a video on installing a heater, but I never pu published it. We have a golf cart build. We do all kinds of stuff. Work on dirt bikes, lawnmowers. We go camping and have family fun. And that's what my channel is. And I sure hope you guys enjoy it. So, without further ado, let me show you guys these LED headlights. I want to thank you for watching. Keep watching. I want to thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed, get subscribed, share the videos, and help me grow. Because we have tons of stuff planned, already planned out, and already paid for, for this summer. And good content will be coming. And it won't be in this garage, and it won't even be in this state. So, thank you guys. Keep on watching. Alright guys, so we just upgraded our headlights to LEDs. That's low beam. That's high beam. The only thing I don't like about the high beam is it's a little more scattered, but it's high beam. So you're only going to be using it when you need to. And no cars are coming. Well, I ride the road. So you guys, this wouldn't matter in the woods. But that low beam, I really like that. And I really like the cutoff level. I mean, yeah, it's not fully straight. But you can adjust that with the headlights. So there's a little knob under here. that See, you can adjust it. And move it up and down and all around. I think it's fine. Because it still kind of cuts off. Now, nah, what is that? About hip height. So it's not really going to bother any cars. Now, these are going to be super bright LEDs. I do have um, an install video on how to install and what LED lights you need. I'll also have them linked down below. Now, keep in mind, they're not a direct fit. But they're the only ones that I personally have found that are even close to fitting. Um, now these, I went with um, 9004 and an H1 light. The 9004 is in the low beam and the H1 is in the high beam. And you have to modify the lights just in the, where they go in on the bracket. You have to modify that a little bit, but I really like the, the clarity over the other ones but the other ones are are pretty good so no complaints but definitely check out that video it'll be at the end of this one um i'll try and put it right here right in this area there's gonna be a video here here i'll put try and put it somewhere in here so make sure you check that one out but i wanted to show you guys that so and i got some before pictures I'll throw in here somewhere. So, all right, guys.